Okay, so that's me on the left. And the person I'm shaking hands with, you might have heard of him before. He's Justin Trudeau. So how did this happen? Let me tell you the story of how I was invited to meet the Prime Minister of Canada. Hold up, first off, I just wanna say that this is not a political endorsement for any party or candidate. This is just a cool story that I wanted to share. But while I have your attention, if you are living in Canada and you're eligible to vote, go vote in this year's federal election, get educated, go to the booth, and turn your opinions into action. Now, back to the story. It all started when I was on exchange at the National University of Singapore, when I got an email. It was an invitation to a dialogue and a meet and greet with the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. Being invited to meet my own Prime Minister was the last thing I expected to do outside of Canada, if not in Singapore. It was a no-brainer. Whatever plans I had previously, gone. I was ready to meet the Prime Minister of Canada. I started calling up my Canadian friends. I was like, yo, guess who I'm meeting up with this week? The Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. You're meeting up with him too? That's when I realized I wasn't so special. I discovered that Trudeau was actually spending several days in Singapore and was hosting a dialogue at NUS. And because of that, decided to invite all the Canadian students at NUS to the event and also to meet him. So I wasn't so special, but meeting the prime minister with friends, that's even better. So when the day came, I took my shoes and dress shirt out and went my way to the venue. Let's go meet Prime Minister Trudeau. Now the event didn't permit any cameras, so all this footage was filmed on my cell phone. But stepping into the building, I could feel this was going to be an interesting experience. That's where we're sitting. Are being filmed by all of this? You guys will be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to the camera. I'll just do it. We're all going to meet the Prime Minister Woo! today in Singapore. How this will work is the, the PM will be coming in here shortly. He's going to have a few words to say and then we'll do a little bit of a photo line. You know that feeling you get when you're at a concert and it's just about to start? That was exactly what I was feeling. There's some drama <laughs> over there. Oh! And then the concert began. What a pleasure to see you all. Uh, it's uh, great to know there's so many great Canadian students uh, studying in Singapore, and I'm really looking forward to the Q&A session we're doing a little bit later. Uh, a sneaking suspicion that there uh, might be a few of you who want some pictures. The yeah. Prime Minister. <laughs> Meeting the Prime Minister was pretty cool, but I want to do one more thing. I've always wanted to be one of those random people that sit on stage behind the Prime Minister, like on TV. Just so happens that this dialogue had seats behind the Prime Minister. So this was my next goal. But this was a little bit trickier because unlike the meet and greet, only a select number of people were randomly selected to go on stage. And I was not one of them. But guess who talked his way into getting a sticker? Got that color sticker? We're going on stage. It's summit season and the big podcast. There by the flag. You're gonna be right here by the end of the slide. Right. The dialogue went smoothly, Trudeau answered questions from across the spectrum, and I tried my best to not look like a goof in front of the cameras. That was pretty cool. That was so cool. It's an awesome experience. So we just met Trudeau, but there's also free food. <laughs> there we go. That's why I'm here. That's why I came. And that ends the story of how I was invited to meet the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau. They'll Next time, catch me trolling Trump on Fox you may News. You have to stage a phony protest.
Thank you.